so far now we've built half of the the tumbler without the middle structural parts we haven't yet fitted any pop rivets so choose place and we're going to locate some bearing pop rivets choose open and we're going to choose to create four of these one two three and four and again with these parts to constrain them what we're going to try and to do is set them uh, down the center here and match that to the corresponding holes and choose OK now this part will still move forwards and backwards but that's OK let's just repeat that with each of the bearings very quickly choose OK slide the rivets out to remind yourself they're not fully constrained yet if they click into the wrong place simply press Control Z to undo the constraint we're going to add a, another constraint which is another mate and this one will be on the underside edge of the rivet using mate option and we're going to select that outside edge and we're going to make that onto the surface of the metal like so click OK and if we just view uh, very quickly an inspection of that you can see that it's actually now riveted against the surface of the metal so we're going to repeat that process now so again constrain this outside edge of the rivet to the corresponding metal surface click OK again repeat with the other two rivets so constrain edge and onto the surface of the metal And then lastly, the edge onto the surface and OK. We should now hopefully have a pretty good looking assembly with rivets in place. What we're going to do now is going to choose File, Save. We're going to choose Yes to All so that all dependents update as we work with those or as the dependents change the assembly will change. For example, if we change the colour of the metal, then it will update in our assembly automatically. 